Hello friends and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're going to be checking out an early alpha version of Fancy Skulls by developer Takibo. Uh, to sum up this one, I think best to just read directly from the website. I think this is probably the most encapsulating statement I've seen of it so far. Uh, it's a shooter with random generation where you defeat enemies with skill, wit, and caution. The game is different every time you play it. There are no saves. When you die, you start over. Uh, permadeath means tension is high, victory is sweeter, there are many items to find to help you and make the experience different. Friendly sentry, polymorph spell, fireball, and more. Seven weapons, all of which are different, can be modified with upgrades, most of which are non-linear. Shotgun that shoots lightning, SMD with burning bullets, ray gun that does more damage when you have odd number of coins on you, and more with over 50 upgrades and mods in total. A uh, pretty cool, abstract, kind of surreal looking game from what I've seen, a little bit I've spent time with it so far. And that's a total of about five minutes, so I'm still pretty much totally new to this. Uh, there are like two things I know to look out for, but we will jump right into a run and see how this goes. So here we go into Fancy Skulls. Alright, so here we are. We're in a big gray box room, and we've got uh, our basic controls here. Uh, WASD to move, mouse look, uh, left mouse shoot, 1, 2, 3, 4, mouse wheel, change weapons, Q to last weapon, R to reload, all standard stuff. Uh, escape for options, tab, inventory, and map, right mouse button for ability and F to use. Okay, so there's a bunch of stuff we need to keep in mind here. So we've got two rooms we can uh, traverse over to, and for some reason there seems to be like a pattern up above the rooms. I'm kind of curious what that means. Maybe they're like other floors or something. And so we've got a weird cotton candy pink tree over here, and I'm kind of worried about that. And we've got a whole bunch of these little black eggs. And we walk into a room, you'll notice all the doors just shut. Well, I think when I stand in the right spot, all these eggs are going to open up and probably, so, yeah, stuff's going to start attacking. Alright, so I've never seen whatever this creature is. It's pretty strange looking, I have to say. It's like a, an upside-down dreidel with uh, some sort of mask on it, and I think we're being attacked from the air by, look, fancy skulls. I guess that's pretty apropos, wouldn't you say? Alright, so we've eliminated those. I'm not sure if this is still going to attack me, but there's still this turret to take care of, and in this position, I'm not in uh, any great danger, considering the turret can't really do much to me when I'm abo up above it. Although, I only have one out of my four health points, and there's some sort of crazy thing going on over there. I don't know what that means at all. Uh, but I think this is sort of what the charm about this game is going to be. Uh, can I use on this? Can I pick it up? Oh, I reloaded. No, doesn't look like I can do anything with it. Can I shoot it? Nope. So I've talked in the past about how cool it is when you play roguelike style games where you really have very little idea about what's going on in them, and the first time you play them everything has a sense of wonder and everything's just very strange. Well this game sort of pushes that to the utmost limit, and I'm probably going to die in this room even though I think I see a treasure chest over there, which I open. It looks like a coin inside. I could choose not to go in this room actually. Uh, but yeah, this game definitely seems to uh, push the surreal sense of things, and I really, really like that. I, I would have, have a feeling the art style is still not entirely developed yet, but I think what's here is a good start. Uh, you know, there's a, a lot of flat shading going on, which is not necessarily a bad thing in any respect. Alright, these guys are going to come straight for me on it. Oh, they can shoot balls at me. I didn't know that. Alright, let's restart. It was a short run, but I think that's how things are going to be when we first start out. Oh, I had a little loading... Area there. So let's reload and run into one of these rooms. I'm not sure which one I want to go into first. Let's take a quick look. This one looks more geometrically interesting. Let's go in this one. Alright, so anything going on? Looks like fairly calm. I don't see any enemies immediately poised to jump out and kill me. I just see that one cotton candy tree over there. Can I jump up this set of platforms? Maybe see if there's anything up above before I trigger this button. Alright, we've got a treasure chest with a heart inside, which I don't want to bother with. Okay, well, I guess we're going to fight now. And let's do that. Oh, that guy can shoot me? I didn't know. Uh, the first time I've seen them. Okay, what's... Oh, those attack. Okay, so I guess I need to shoot those out of the air. Good thing I have this heart. This game definitely seems a bit on the punishing side, uh, which is not a problem. I kind of like roguelike games when you have to get used to some of the difficulty curve. Uh, so what was the point of the button then? Maybe I crossed over it by walking up there? I don't know. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention there were maybe some parallels to uh, paranautical activity. Uh, not that that's a bad thing or anything, and I'm not sure that they were necessarily influenced by each other, but it just seems like they have a, a little bit of crossover. Alright, what are our enemies this time? We've got one of those sea enemies and one of these running beastie type characters, as well as a flying skull, which I will deal with as soon as that guy's done. Looking forward to perhaps upgrading my weapon and figuring out what on earth those objects are that keep glitching around. 
Okay, looks like we've got a turret also to deal with off in the distance. Uh, doesn't seem to be much of a danger because I can shoot it all the way from here. There we go. And it looks like we've got a coin. Alright, very good. What can I do with this? I really want to do something with this. I guess nothing happens. Maybe I can come back and deal with those later. Alright, continuing on then. Into the next room. We've got... Oh, this looks pretty dramatic. I don't know what this is. Is this like a boss room or... Takes me to the next floor, maybe? I'm curious. Let's go. Oh, that's pretty. Loading. Okay, so we are going on to some other area. And it looks like we've started over in another homeroom, so I guess those are our exits, and we want to look for those every time. Uh, there's a treasure chest in here with another coin in it. And on this side... Alright, I'll take this room. Doesn't seem to be much going on in here. Looking forward to maybe finding a new weapon at some point. That would be kind of a nice thing. So far, I've just been stuck with this pistol. And I need to reload, and I should have done that a while ago. Alright, let's take care of this skull. Should be able to kite this dude around for a minute while I shoot him in the eye. I like how they fall apart, too. Okay, these guys might corner me if I don't get out of the way. Look a little bit like jesters or something. I think those are headshots that are giving me, like, extra damage. Maybe that's, like, a crit bonus or something. I'm not sure if the collision is always quite on, because it seems like a lot of the time I've shot them, but it doesn't seem to kill them. Alright, what did we get? Another coin. Okay, what am I going to spend these coins on? I'm getting... Uh, well, I've got two coins. I guess I don't have that many. But I'd like to know. <laughs> what is it that we're going to be buying with these coins? Uh, at some point, I'll probably run into some sort of an item shop room or something. I like that these uh, particles or the, the bits of the enemy stick around after the room is cleared. I'd really like to see some more details and stuff showing up around the rooms, maybe even if they're just sort of auxiliary details that happen uh, beyond the point where you can interact with things. It'd just be kind of a cool touch. Alright, there's a lot of eggs in this room. I'm a little bit worried about that. Okay, well, they've all woken up at the same time. Yeah, it totally says crit every time. I just wasn't noticing it. Uh, those turrets look like they're going to come after me, so I need to keep leading these in circles. Kind of strange, actually, but it, it really does work. We're sort of doing, like, this Binding of Isaac formula. Uh, I'm kind of playing this as if these were, like, the Eyeless Ooze guys that would chase me down normally. Oh, I'm down to one hit already. And, okay, I should be able to knock these guys' heads off. Their projectiles travel much faster than I anticipate every single time. And we're rewarded with another coin. I'd prefer another heart, if possible. Uh, doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. So, I mean, each time you learn a little bit, you get a little bit better, you make it a little bit further... Uh, we should be pretty accustomed to how this formula works by now. But every time, you know, a little bit of a tweak on it is always welcome, and I do enjoy a good first-person shooter occasionally, so this is kind of neat to mix uh, the first-person shooter mechanics with something really surreal and odd like this. And I've taken a shot. I'm not sure from what exactly, but we went down. All right, let's reload. Maybe do another run or two. Just really want to find some of the other stuff here that I haven't run into yet. This one looks like there's a bit more of an emphasis on verticality, plus there's some boxes in here, which I want to see what that's about. I know that's a treasure chest, but what's the other one? Okay, we've got a coin in there. I keep wanting to say a yen. This is, I think they're just like old-style Chinese coins, right? That's what I thought they were. I thought I had one of those from... Uh, I had like this uh, social studies teacher that went to China all the time, and he had coins. I thought they looked like that. Um, but I am not exactly the most worldly man. <laughs> Alright, this turret is pretty dangerous. Both of these turrets are pretty dangerous, and I'm not going to get out of here if I don't start shooting everything. Oh, I don't have enough firepower to deal with this room. can't believe I actually lived through this. So this dude produces these mines that float around in the air, and eventually they chase you. So i got to make sure I take those out from a distance. I think they can actually set off chain reactions with each other. Which, if that's possible, I definitely want that to happen. Uh, is there falling damage? No, it doesn't look like it. I need a key to open! I don't have a key. Oh, that's frustrating. Looks like I don't need to worry about ammo, so that's a good thing. I uh, wish I could shoot all these eggs before they hatch. And, alright, so we got a total of four enemies in this room. And we'll take out the sea enemy first. This uh, set is going to chase me. These are probably the easiest to deal with, because you just basically kite them. Uh, so you've already learned some strategies on how to deal with some of this stuff. And there we go. And another coin for the collection. What on earth do these things do? I keep hitting, like, E and stuff on them just in the hopes that maybe something will change. It doesn't seem like that's the case, though. I'm scrolling in case it would, like, open up a new item, but it doesn't do that either. These must have a purpose. 
Oh, there's a map. I hit tab. I didn't even know that. So level one of six. That's some useful information to know, actually. Wasn't sure exactly what the scope of each run was going to be if we were to be performing at our best. All right, we're going to try and use this platform here to the best of our ability. What's in this? Oh, what do you know? Another coin. All right, let's kill the sea anemone first. Uh, this guy is going to be a little tough to deal with because we're in pretty close quarters and I need to reload. Oh, jeez. I think he got... Yep, he's got me. All right, he didn't kill me, though. And this guy has just produced a whole bunch of mines all over this room. So let's try and snipe those from here. Oh, jeez. That one almost got me. Not sure what makes them trigger, actually. Okay, that's just a s standing sentry turret who doesn't seem to bother me unless I get in his line of sight. Okay, looks like I've taken him out. Oh, we got another mine maker. This could be my death. If I'm not careful. I gotta shoot all of these things. Can I use the mines to, like, backfire on this guy? That'd be kind of nice if I could use that to trigger, uh, you know, a detonation that would end up taking him out, even though he's the one that made them. Anything else over here? If I turn that corner and there was, like, an enemy right in my face, definitely going down. I'm starting to wonder if maybe the, the weapons haven't all been implemented yet. It seems like I haven't found any upgrades at all. Which seems a little bit less likely, considering how many rooms I've gone through now. I think just by virtue of just random chance, I would have run into something at one point. Okay, this is going to be a really tough room to survive. I'm not sure I can do it. No, I cannot. Alright, let's do another run. I'm definitely intrigued, and I just... I want to see more, and I want to see what's in here. Because I have a feeling once we get things going and things start to roll, uh, the feeling of running around shooting all these dudes with, like, better weapons is going to be a lot of fun. Right now it feels a little bit like a slog just uh, looking for these upgrades, but, you know, it's just largely because we have to wait so long between shots. And uh, now that I'm starting to understand what most of the enemies are, I, I guess it's getting to be a little demystified already. <clears throat> so I want there to be a little bit more in the formula to mix things up. But it also might be that some of these uh, weapons and upgrades and such are uh, progress gated, so I might have to get to a certain point in progression to be able to even find them. So I can only kill that turret by shooting the center point. Oh, what is this? This is something different. Oh! Alright, I got something new. And maybe those are like ammo points? That actually is pretty likely what they are. I just haven't ever had another weapon to be able to use it. So I got some sort of a laser beam, I guess. This is exciting. Let's see how this performs. Okay, turret taken out. Walking dude. Oh, pretty tough actually. Oh, jeez. Kind of didn't see him shoot that. And what did I get this time? Spyglass. See what's in the eggs. That's kind of cool. So all of a sudden, now I'm getting all the upgrades. Maybe I just needed to whine about it enough before it happens. Anything up here? Nope. Looks like it's all fairly cleared out. Let's look at our map real quick. Okay, we've got a room ahead and to the right. Uh, I can see what's in the eggs, but not until I get close enough to them. Sentry gun... Manny, so we can see what their official names are. Rudolph. Manny and Skull. Alright, let's see. I guess that would help me position myself in the best way possible to not immediately get blown up by something. Uh, which might happen anyway, even though I know it's there. Yeah, it did. <laughs> I definitely don't want to stop playing this, though. It's definitely quite a bit of fun. And knowing that there are some other things to find <clears throat> makes me very interested in seeing where this is going to go. I just wish the uh, the weapons and upgrades would come a little bit faster. I should probably be playing this a little bit more aggressively. It seems like I've been spending a lot of time being careful when uh, I probably should be charging through things a little bit more. Not usually my best advice, but sometimes. Sometimes it's necessary. Okay, there's... Oh, I almost got that other turret. There we go. Got it at the last second. Let's uh, turn around, take this guy out. I have to wonder if maybe in the final version there's going to be like multiple classes or something. Maybe you can pick a character that starts with a different item or weapon. Because uh, I have to say the pistol's a little bit slow to start things out, but it's also useful when you're getting accustomed. Oh look, I found a key. Now in this case I don't think I actually have any chests that I need to use the key on. Uh, maybe something will come up in the future. So the door is shut. Okay, we've got a turret. I've uh, fallen in here. I don't know what I'm about to fight. Okay, we've got... See an enemy dude that's going to make mines. I've uh, got a skull behind me. There are a lot of projectiles on the screen right now. 
just sort of pretending I can't see most of them, and I'm dead. So visually, game very interesting. Sound effects seem like they're appropriate where necessary. Uh, could probably use, you know, some music and stuff, but again, still, you know, early alpha, so no complaints with that. And we've got just one room this time to w walk into. Uh, I am very interested in seeing when this game becomes a little bit more fully developed, like where we're going to go uh, with the, the audio element of the game. And I think that's going to definitely enhance uh, the feeling of what's going on here. Will there even be audio? I don't know. It might just end up being one of those games that is more about, like, the ambience or uh, having more of like a soundscape type of a drone thing going on. I think that actually could serve it pretty well. But it's not my call to make. So what are we going to do over here? We've got another turret. For all these... Oh my goodness, there's so many projectiles up above. Okay, we got a chest. I would love to have had that key, but I don't have that anymore. Let's shoot at these from here. And one more shot should take... Well, two more shots probably for this. Oh, and there's a skull up here as well, which doesn't seem to be able to shoot projectiles at me, thankfully. I should be able to just snipe him from this position. And we are all clear. So if you could, like, drop me off a key... No, of course not. That would have been awfully nice. So, I mean, we start with four hits, and really everything is going to probably get you, like, twice if it gets you once. So it seems like the odds are stacked against you, which is probably fine. I mean, really, we want to have a challenging experience at the beginning when we're still getting accustomed to things, because it's going to be the thing that drives us to keep coming back for more, right? We establish this this feeling of, uh, you know, one more game, one more game, and if things were too easy, we would rush right through. You know, you want the experiential element to be uh, the thing that takes precedence most of the time, and I think that is probably the correct call to make from a game development standpoint. Make the game harder than uh, easier if you have to pick one or the other. You know, ideally you would make it balanced, but since we're still dealing with pre-release, you know, alpha stuff going on, I think this probably does make sense. I probably should mention at some point here, you can actually purchase this right now in the state it's in, uh, in its alpha version, from the developer's website, which will be linked in the description, so you can feel free to pick this up yourself and give it a try, and see what kinds of crazy uh, weapons and configurations you might run into. Look, you actually can use the mines to bomb these dudes. That's good news for me, because I kind of need it. I guess that sort of makes them a little bit, what is, uh, Wrath, I guess, from Isaac? Got a similar mechanic to him? Alright, there we go. And I'm glad there's no, uh, ammo to worry about when we're dealing with the regular old pistol. Kinda wish I could kick these bits of this guy around. It's kind of a funny-looking dude. Um, uh, I really want to know what that is. It makes me so curious. Alright, let's reload and check our map. We've got a room to the right. Let's go in there. Okay, we've got eggs all over the place. It seems like sometimes the button triggers things, other times it's not the button, so I don't know. Maybe I just am mistaken, but I thought there were instances where I didn't actually use the button and it, everything came after me already. Okay, you need to go. And it looks like the skull's got himself trapped on the other side of that pillar. I'm okay with this. Uh, if I can shoot him, that is. Oh yeah, we're good. Okay, I don't think I took any damage on that room, which is kind of good. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, something with a gold star. Oh, maybe this is an item room? Oh yeah, there's little cubes floating in the air of some kind. I like it. What did we get? Cricket's potion jump higher. I haven't even been jumping at all. I didn't really think that would help me all that much. Oh, this is a nice room. I wish I could find this room a lot more often. Maybe I should be looking at my map. Now, I thought I heard a little bit of a chime when I finished that last room. Maybe that was indicating that there was something worth noting uh, in one of the adjacent rooms. There aren't secrets, are there? Oh, there are secrets. That said two left. Oh, jeez, I can't die in this room. I gotta see what happens. Alright, let's take care of these guys first, and then we'll watch out for skulls. Oh, jeez, I gotta watch out for skulls right now. Take the skull. Take him. And we've got, like, a... T oh, jeez! I should not have run right at that guy. Let's kill this turret. Oh, you can shoot them in the base. I didn't know that. Okay, that's useful information. Now, if there's going to be secrets in the rooms, that changes everything. That means that there's more going on here than I thought. And I maybe need to spend a little bit more time looking at my environment, because I was sort of dismissing it a little bit, uh, thinking it was just going to be what it is right now, geometry-wise. Okay, let's take out these very carefully. We've got... Is it just the one? Or is there two here? I can't really tell. Okay, there we go. All clear. Looks like it's all clear. Okay. 
So I guess we'll look for more imperfections in the walls, uh, if that's a thing. Oh, there's another one. One left. Where would I be if I was one of those little wall imperfections? Probably symmetrically on the other side of this. No, doesn't seem that way. Uh, the first one we shot was like on the interior. Don't see anything over here. Up on the edge, doesn't look like it. Okay, so that means it's probably got to be up there, unless it's just on one of these outer perimeter walls. I'm definitely curious to know what's going to happen when I find this last thing. Uh, I would probably put something on the top, too, because I never think to look up there. Nope, doesn't seem to be here. I'm watching all the edges around as we go. Wouldn't put it all the way up there, right? That would be a little crazy. Could it be on the floor? I wasn't really looking on the floor. I guess it's possible. I'm sure you guys have noticed it already. Just a classic old find the hidden object style game thrown in here. I didn't expect that to happen. Nothing on any of these sides. What about on this side? Nope. What about on the ceiling? Nope. It was fairly obvious, the one that I saw before, wasn't it? I thought it was anyway. Seriously? Is this hard to find? Well, I've pretty much scrutinized just about every surface that's in this room uh, many, many times, and I don't seem to see a last button to shoot. I've really looked at just about everything, and I was trusting that all of these surfaces, or all of the buttons that I needed to shoot would all be in the same room. I, uh, I guess that's the case, but I don't see another one here. I actually was just shooting stuff randomly for a bit too, and I didn't seem to come to any new conclusions from there either, so sorry about that. I'm not really sure what's going on there. Um, maybe the thing that happens when you shoot all the buttons is not implemented yet, or maybe I just keep passing it. If it's on the baby blue walls, I'm not going to find it, I suppose, because the contrast there is going to be a little bit silly. Um, I guess I would have to walk, like, this far away from all the walls. And then it lets me see how dirty my monitor is. I don't like that. I don't want to do that. Um, let's just keep going, and we'll just finish out this run. Sorry about that. I know it was probably a little disappointing. I wanted to see what happened, too. Uh, so we've just got a couple more rooms here. Let's see if we can maybe get through this one unscathed. Uh, odds are looking pretty unlikely for that to be the case. Uh, shoot him in the face. Nope. Oh, jeez. Can't believe I actually lived. Oh! Ow, I think that knocked me through the freaking wall. That surprised me, actually. Anyway, that's been Fancy Skulls by Takibo. I recommend you check it out. I actually have pretty positive uh, impressions of it. I look forward to playing some more of it. Again, it's an early alpha, so I think there's still a ways to go yet, but I did enjoy what is here. Uh, so I recommend you check it out. The link is going to be in the description if you want to play it for yourself. And uh, feel free to let other people know about it. It seems like a pretty cool game. So I, I imagine this is going to be another one of those games that as we get further into development, I'll probably have to revisit it a few times, see what new features show up. And uh, probably as I start to learn a little bit more about it, even uh, in terms of like what those secrets were, what other things I can do to maximize my play, uh, you know, you'll get more proficient at it. As more features come in, it'll just get more and more interesting. So it'll sort of snowball. Uh, that's my expectation anyway. So if you enjoyed the episode, uh, please uh, do stick around. I do a new one every single day. Uh, so uh, if you want to support the show, there's a number of ways you can do that. Of course, I do appreciate any likes and comments. If you want to let me know about this game, what you think about it, what you would do differently, what you enjoyed, what you didn't enjoy, any of that stuff, constructive criticism is always welcome here in the comments. Uh, but please do look through the description. I've got all kinds of different social media links, like my uh, Facebook page, my Twitter page, uh, my Twitch page, and of course the uh, website for the series itself, uh, indie-impressions.com. If you want to stop by over those nearly 500 other indie games that I've reviewed on the show, and I shouldn't say reviewed, but given my impressions on, so I don't do reviews, the first impression series. Uh, and you can feel free to browse them, sort them, and all of that. They're all sorted by tags already, so, you know, see what you like, find some new games, tell a friend, all of that stuff really helps me out. And then when you're done, be sure to come back again tomorrow, because again, a new episode every single day. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you then. Have a lovely night.